first at four, Hawaii County Police are addressing the new developments in the Dana Ireland case. A DNA match was made earlier this year, but the man identified will not face trial. He killed himself last week. Hawaii News Now Chief Investigative Reporter Lynn Kawano broke the story of a DNA match last night. She had a one-on-one -on -one interview with the police chief earlier today. Here's what he had to say about his department's handling of the case. The man has been identified as Albert Laurel Jr. He died last week in apparent suicide just days after meeting with detectives. Court records list Albert Laurel Jr. as the man whose DNA matched the DNA from semen, skin, and sweat found in evidence from the scene of the 1991 crime. The filings include pictures of Laurel, a 57-year-old shoreline fisherman from Hawaiian Paradise Park. The documents say he was familiar with the fishing trail where Dana Ireland was found critically injured. Laurel was identified through genetic DNA, then from a fork he discarded in public last month month. On July 19th, Hawaii police officers with a warrant for more DNA samples swabbed his cheek, interviewed Laurel, but said they didn't have enough to arrest him. While there is no time limitation for murder, there is a time limitation, or there was in the 1990s when this case happened, uh, for kidnapping and, and rape. Unfortunately, those time limitations have expired. So essentially, in order for us to make an arrest, in order to put someone uh, to, to establish probable cause, we have to show that there is probable cause for a crime that is still within the statute of limitations, which in this case leads us to murder. The Hawaii Innocence Project, which represents two of the three men who were convicted for Ireland's death, says the police department did have enough and warned other agencies they didn't feel police were properly proceeding. We brought this to their attention, that that was our concern on July 2nd. We met with the uh, judge in chambers and the prosecutors and we said you need to get them off this case because if they don't take him into custody pursuant to arrest warrant, he could flee, destroy evidence or kill himself. Police are not ready to call Laurel the killer in the Dana Ireland case, saying they are still working to find evidence and want to talk to people who knew Laurel. They talked with him for about an hour. Um, all told from the beginning to including the buckle swab in the end. Um, we're not really ready to release the contents of the, of the interview or the recording of the interview or a transcript yet because we're still trying to actively work through what he told us to prove or disprove and to complete the investigation, right? There is a hearing set for Tuesday in this courthouse in Hilo. A judge is expected to find Albert Ian Schweitzer innocent of the Dana Ireland murder. He was convicted, but that conviction has now been vacated after he served 23 years in prison. I'm Lynn Kawano, Hawaii News Now. Thank you very much, Lynn. And we now go live to Hilo.